All right, what do we got here? Oh, wow. If you missed the first part of this collaboration, this blade was made by Lindblade who sent it up to me to finish out with a handle and sheath. This blade is super awesome and I'm very excited to be able to make the handle and sheath for it. Make sure to go follow Lindblade on Instagram. And now I'm going to start working on the handle. Alright, so we've got these really cool stabilized Hawaiian mango scales. And we're going to take these and glue them down onto some black G10. Now that the scales have been shaped up, I'm going to be epoxying this together with G-Flex, which is a really strong marine grade epoxy. Then I'll be clamping it up and then cleaning out any squeeze out with acetone and some Q-tips. For the sheath on this knife, we're going to start out by making a template out of this piece of paper. Go around like here. And I'm kind of just leaving like maybe half inch, maybe a little more of material just outside that um, where the edge is going to be just because I need space for my stitching and the welt. And this doesn't need to be exact because we're just going to grind it back to what we need in the end.
I'm gonna try and do kind of a pattern like this radiating, radiating out from where this snap's gonna be. And I'm just gonna moisten the leather and I'm gonna poke those in there with kind of the point of this tool. So it's gonna leave kind of a triangular mark. And hopefully we can get kind of an interesting looking pattern. So the edges of the sheath and the insides are going to be black and then kind of the middle is going to be like a brown color. We're going to be raffling this knife off on Instagram, and we're going to be donating all the money, so make sure to go check that out. I really enjoyed working on this project. It was a whole lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching us make this knife. If you haven't already seen part one of this, make sure to go check it out. I'll make sure to leave a link to that. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.